the message on the back the reason why i show people that trick man is uh do you see how easy your eyes deceived you on you know about you got any thoughts about what happens to a person when they die after life or god or anything like that yeah, yeah. or you think you're gonna spend eternity what do i think i'm gonna spend eternity happy for sure for real for real yeah. why you say that uh i don't know i just used to I don't know. I used to like not think God was real when I was a little bit uh -huh. younger. Yeah. And then I just realized that like I was just like sorry and just like mad at the world. Yeah. And then I started trying to talk to God a little bit. Yeah. And I just feel like that there's like there's not really like a, a better like maybe Muslim or something, but there's not really a better thing to believe in, you know, because people who don't believe in anything are kind of just like. Yeah, they just hopeless. Yeah. Yeah. Much, so, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to explain this to you. You ever heard what the Bible says about what the what the good news is? What's about what the basically it's I'll show you a hand illustration. It just tip sum up the whole message of the Bible in one illustration. And uh if you take your thumb right here, say everything in the beginning was A-OK -okay with Adam and Eve. You remember that story? Yeah. And then they chose and said, man, you know what? I don't, I don't want God to be number one. I want to be number one. Yeah. And so they went their own way. I mean, think about sin. I mean, how many lies have you told in your life? A lot. Have you ever stolen anything? Yeah. You ever looked at someone with lust? Yeah. So man, you just like the rest of us. And then the Bible says that God can't let you go your own way, which is the tallest finger. This one, right? Yeah. It shows you that God is holy and above and above all the rest, so he can't let you go your own way. He must punish sins like it's just like a judge that punishes a murder yeah. with the death penalty. Yeah. But this is my commitment. I've committed my wife. Well, God loved us so much that he knew we were in trouble. So he Jesus committed himself to die on the cross all the way for our sin and paid the sin in full. The last words he said on the cross, it's finished. The debt has been paid. So your sin has been paid, but in order for you to get the debt paid, you must become small. What's the smallest finger right here? Pinky, right? This this shows you that, man, in order for you to embrace Jesus fully, you have to, like, understand that you're small and weak and there's nothing you can do to save yourself. But if you will lock on to Jesus, he'll lock on to you and never let you go, man. That's good, man. What you think? I, I think that was good, man. For real, for real? Yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, God bless you, man. We are the whole thing. How you gotta go? Probably not the whole thing. Uh -huh. This is me and Titus. We're in a distress call. We need you. We're going through a car wash. We're going through a car wash. We're going to die. Look at this. Tell him what we just got to know him. How did he respond? Yeah.